Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex here and welcome to the first episode of Alex Plays the Hunter. Now I've actually been playing this game since uh, 2014 and I thought it would be a, uh, a good time to go ahead and, you know, show you some of the things that I like to do while playing this game. Now I haven't played it too much in recent memory. Um, I didn't play too terribly much this year, but I did play a lot in 2014 and a little bit in 2015 before taking a break from the game. Now the Hunter is free to play, but in order to really get the most out of it, um, you're going to want to be looking at getting a membership, which is actually very inexpensive. You can get a membership to hunt in all locations for uh, $10 for a three month membership. So it's actually very inexpensive to uh, play the game, and uh, it's one I do recommend. So I want to show you the loadout that I'm going to be bringing with me on the hunt today. We'll start with my clothing. I'm going to be using a full set of Boone and Crockett. It's a very good uh, deer hunting set. Uh, it gives you good, you know, well, well, I'll just go ahead and read it. It gives you good versus species of the deer family in visual reduction, so it gives you good uh, camouflage versus the deer family. It actually gives you a moderate amount of scent reduction versus the deer family, which is really nice when you're stalking a deer. And it also gives you some sound reduction versus some species of the deer family, but it has no cold weather uh, resistance. It's actually a pretty decent set, and then I've also got a pair of uh, sunglasses. It's actually the only pair of facial wear that I own. Now, I've got tons of different clothing, but we're not going to worry about too, that, uh, too much about that. The primary weapon I'm going to be using in this uh, hunt is one of my favorite weapons, actually. It's the 50 caliber cap lock muzzle loader, and it's really cool. It's basically like a traditional uh, Civil War era style uh, muzzle loader where it's uh, front loaded and then you put a uh, cap primer uh, on it. It's, it's not an old school pan fired uh, musket, but it is uh, pretty similar to that. This would have been a uh, a weapon commonly used during the uh, Civil War era. So just a very fun weapon to use. I like to use it and I've actually got it set up with a uh, 3 by 20 millimeter muzzle loading scope. Okay and then for a backup weapon I have a 12 gauge side-by-side -side engraved shotgun and I have some uh, buckshot loaded. And this is just a backup weapon in, in case, you know, something goes wrong. I do have a ton of other weapons, including bows and uh, pistols and rifles. So those are all things that we could potentially use in the future. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, because the Hunter is not a particularly fast game, uh, we're going to get, you know, down low. We're going to get quiet and we're going to stalk some deer. So in this particular episode, I think I want to hunt a buck mule deer and what I mean by a buck mule deer is a male one that has a pair of antlers so that's what we're gonna be hunting with today And as you can see you don't move particularly fast you know you move at a actual walking pace so uh, before we get out and start hunting there's a couple of things that I need to do and that's load my weapons so we'll load up the buckshot into the 12 gauge and we're going to load a patched ball into our muzzle loader. Now I decided not to bring a pistol with me um, because I didn't feel that we were going to need it. I did bring some additional ammunition types for the shotgun in case we want to do some uh, other hunting, but we're going to be looking for a buck mule deer today. And this is going to be a series that I don't actually end up editing because I want you guys to uh, see how the hunts play out in real time. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna go into my whispering kind of commentating voice now, and I've got the ambience set up kind of high, and that's so you guys get the uh, full audio experience. All right, we got a mule deer, a female. Alright, well where there's a female, we can sometimes find males. I'm not interested in tracking down females. I'm interested in tracking down a male. But, what we can do is potentially um, use a grunt caller to lure a buck to us. Oops. That's not what I'm looking for. 
And that's not what I'm looking for either. All right, I'm looking for my scent reduction. Now, even though these clothes provide some scent reduction, I don't want to smell like anything. So I'm going to use some uh, scent eliminator. And that gives us a half an hour in real time to uh, keep the scent down. So for the most part, we're going to follow this path here a little bit. And I think I'm going to break out the uh, the buck collar. I'm not interested in getting does to come near, but I am interested in getting males to come near. So if a male thinks that there's a competing male in the area, he should come check it out. So we'll wait till we're kind of close to the females, and then we'll bust out a grunter. Now we haven't heard any other calls yet from uh, females, but we know that we're kind of in the relative area of where one was when it first called, even though some time has passed. So I'm going to get down kind of low to uh, reduce my visual profile as well as the amount of sound that I'm making. Actually, there we go right there. Now, I'm not going to take the shot here, but look at how close I can get. Yeah, nice little female mule deer there. I think there's something in the back there as well. Could have swore I saw something. Yeah, look at that. Got another female. Oh wow, we have a whole pack of them, a whole herd of female mule deer. I'm gonna get down really low now. I think there's like one right to my left behind that rock. Now I'm hoping that there will be a buck that shows up here pretty soon. That is a really large female. They're friggin' coming right at me. Well, if I don't move, man, this is going to be an awesome intro video. I've never actually been in the center of a herd. If I don't move, I should be in really good shape. This is crazy, guys. Yeah, they don't even know I'm here. That's awesome. Just keep in mind that we're not looking for the females. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look for the male by calling out to one.
right there's one right through the grass that is not a male I, well I don't see any antlers please don't come up on me don't do it alright so after that female deer kind of ran off I sat for a bit and I was like well if one knows I'm there there's a good chance that the entire herd is spooked so we're moving on and we're gonna keep looking for that uh, that buck so what's my strategy well I want to get away from this uh, female pack and just kinda of see what we end up running into So I'm keeping my eyes open, seeing if uh, I can see anything moving on the horizon. I'd like to get an uphill uh, vantage point, so we're going to climb up this hill. Look at that, right on the hill. I can't really see it now. Nope, it's still there. Yeah, it's definitely there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's a buck! It's a buck! Alright, alright, let's see if we can get a little bit crafty here. Let's see if we can call him to us. there. He's gone. Well, I think we found us something to track, guys. So let's start tracking him. I think that was a hog. Yeah, there's a hog up there. Looks like a deer just took off. All right, we'll we'll check those tracks when we get to them. Looks like this is where it might start. Let's see. No, those are going the wrong way, but let's check them anyway.
Well, I just scared something because I didn't see it. I think this is the trail that I want. At least it's heading up in the direction that I want to follow, so let's follow it. There's so many tracks around here. This is like a fox, right? I'm pretty sure. All these tracks going whichever which way they want makes it hard to follow a single trail okay we've got a male mule deer over in this direction fairly close as well. Try and mimic his call. Alright, don't move. If we scare the female, we'll scare the male. So I'm just going to get down low and wait. Man, it's a good thing they can't smell me. Holy smokes. Just to my right. Alright, have the gun ready. I don't know where he might come up. Got that one deer like right behind me. Spotted. Dang it, I just heard, I just saw two more go running. I guess I'm rusty at this game, but you know, it's bound to happen, I guess. All right, I guess we're in full tracker mode. Let's do this. All right, that's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for a trail that comes up this way, I think. Yeah, I don't really care about you. I don't really care about those tracks. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the ones that run this way.
still not the tracks that I'm looking for. I don't think those are his either. Right, he came cruising up through this direction. That might be the tracks that I'm looking for right up there. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, these are the ones. And it's these are the ones that I'm after. So now all we gotta do is uh, track them down. Now what I'm hoping will happen is that he'll slow down soon. Right, he is still fully fleeing. So let's keep looking. I think I just saw him up there. I think I might have spooked him again would really stink. He has so far taken a very predictable path, so... I swear I keep hearing something.
Well, we know our deer is potentially close because the circle is closed. There's a track this way. I don't think this is our boy, though. Trotting. That could be our boy. Take a moment to look around. I don't see him. There's, there's some fairly thick brush around here, however. Looks like he's starting to slightly veer to the right. Okay, like he should be close, like really close. We might even see him once we pop up over this little hill here. There's our boy right over there. Let's see if we can piss him off a little bit. Get him to come over to us. I want to be real careful with my movements. We know our boy is right over here because he called from this direction. So this is the way I'm going to go. Yeah, look at that. We, we were able to skip over a couple of markers because we heard him call. Trying to stay real quiet here. Because I know he's close. I just can't see him. Maybe one of you guys ended up seeing him and I didn't.
I do apologize for the noise in the background. Nothing I can do about that. Hopefully it doesn't come into the video too badly. Still looking for him. We're close. We're just. I haven't seen him yet. I need to really keep my eyes open for any kind of movement. Not seeing anything. Well, this is weird. We haven't seen any tracks in a while either. Where have the tracks gone? I think we got thrown for a loop. I haven't seen any track signs come up. It looks like he was starting to double back around, so I'm going to go this way. Mm, this one is crafty. Very crafty. I think he'll make for a great trophy on my wall. Look at that. A false track. So that's going to put us behind a little bit. Okay, trotting. Alright. Well, he's not fully running, so I don't think he thinks we're still following him. That did certainly put us behind in tracking. That's not who we're looking for. Still trotting. Hopefully he slows down at some point. We're gonna lose him. Yeah, we're already on a cold trail. Still trotting.
know. This one might be easier to get to. We can always come back to that other trail later. Tail rabbit walked right up on him. All right, maybe. We can get him to come over this way. Let's take a look around. Got a couple, a couple of bucks around here. This should be a good place to sit and hide. I know there's one over that way. But will the call have worked? Also know there's one that away as well. I kind of wish I had like a pair of antlers, do like a fighting buck call. Oh, there he is. Right there. Nice sized one too. Eight pointer. No, ten pointer. I'm going to take the shot. Now 
and we'll just wait. That was as good a shot as I think it was. I don't think he'll have moved a single inch. Yeah, not even an inch. Straight put him down. Excellent. Clean kill shot there. Look at that. We hit his body, his shoulder blade, his right lung, his liver, and his intestine with that shot. A score of 154, 096. A perfect harvest value because he didn't run and suffer. And a CSS of 71.2. I don't know what CSS is, but I know the score is pretty decent. So, Wound time, nothing. Trophy integrity, 100%. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Bam! Great trophy. Right there. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode of The Hunter. I certainly enjoyed uh, hunting down that uh, mule deer after he took off. Um, not, I don't think it was the original one that we were tracking, but it ended up being a, uh, a good mule deer nonetheless. So I'd like to thank you guys all very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please consider leaving it a like. And if you didn't, uh, the dislike and unsubscribe buttons are right over there. And as always, keep your movement silent, and you're going to get trophies. Later, guys.